seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. Good morning, everyone. It is a cloudy but very cool morning in the desert. Uh, it's about 84 degrees, which to you, with humidity, is miserable. Uh, but to us, without any bright sun and without any humidity, it's cool. Uh, we are into the school, probably the third week is coming up, or yeah, I think the third week's coming up. So uh, that's full force here, that's going. Uh, it is a Saturday morning. Um, I'm just getting my morning walk in. I've slept until 7.03. That's sleeping in for me, feels great. Uh, and I'm kind of out doing my thing. Um, yeah, full day today planned. Uh, I got a lot of errands to run. Um, I'm gonna try and get over to a short men's shop and uh, look at some clothing, uh, cause I'm only 5'2". And uh, and Tim's gotta go help his friend uh, Brenna with some plants. Uh, she's the plant lady. And uh, uh, the seasons are gonna start changing here soon. So he's getting ready for uh, some ideas. So they're gonna do that. Uh, and then I think we're gonna make pizza tonight. Uh, I'm hoping. So we'll take you along for that in our uh, day in the life video. And uh, Maybe I'll tell you about some other things I've been doing. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we're ready to talk about that yet. All right, I'll uh, try and take some video here, show you what I'm seeing, but I'm just starting my walk. It's gonna take me about an hour to do that. Then I gotta go home and get cleaned up and we'll do breakfast. I strive just to say I'm all right. And for the first time in a long time, I'm all right. I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago All right, we got a lot going on today. It's Saturday, uh, the 19th of August when we're filming this. Uh, we, you know, I've, I've just had the first two and a half weeks of, of work, which is, you know, school, I'm a teacher. Uh, I do have some videos up on Sophomore Swag, on Sophomore Swag, my uh, class I'm teaching channel, so check that out. That's all about what happens to me at work and what I go through. My latest videos are, uh, well, the first day of school will be coming out uh, on Wednesday this coming week. And the one that's up there now is uh, my classroom setup where I show you my classroom got painted over the summer and I had to disassemble everything because it got sanded. Uh, and I had to put it all back together and I made some improvements. So check that out, it's a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna take you with me today on my journey. I got a lot of stuff to do today. You saw opening up that I had my uh, walk in the park uh, and that's a lot of fun, I, I do that. I walk at least two miles every morning and I walk at least two miles every night. And you would think that I would be sickly thin right now, but you know, that's not happening. Uh, so I'm cleaned up and I'm ready to start my day. I'm gonna start it off with some waffles for breakfast. It's the weekend, I wanna live a little on the weekend, so I'll, I'll have some waffles. And these waffles are really low in calories. Uh, and they're a great option for a, uh, for a starch solution type breakfast. 
So let's get started on the waffles and I'll show you what I'm doing. It's simple because the whole thing's made in the blender right here. Now my blender stand is over there, so I'm just gonna use this and put all the stuff in the blender. Tim will probably be joining me later on. Right now he's uh, with Brenna, uh, his mine and uh, Nini's friend Brenna. Uh, we're all like a trio of friends and Brenna's like a plant lady. She like can't get enough cactuses and desert plants and she's a beautiful home with like I mean, it looks like, you know, the botanical gardens, uh, but she's always, you know, working with that. And Tim just loves to go with her. He gets ideas for our place. And during the, you know, the season, he'll come and start planting stuff. So he's with Brandon. He'll be back later on. Uh, I'm going to uh, start with three cups of oats right here in this blender. I used to just move all these jars off the counter here when I was filming and then put them back on, but I don't do that anymore. I have four jars on the counter. One of them usually has flour in them and it's empty. Another one has all of my dry rice. Another one has my, all my new ch nutritional yeast. And the other one has my oats in it. So, because these things I just use every day, right? So I need three cups of this. So it's one, two, and three three cups, all right? Three cups of uh, just original oats. All right, next we need three tablespoons of ground flaxseed. Uh, we are down to the bottom of my bag of flaxseed here, so we're gonna have to pick some up from Costco next time we go there. I think I've got three tablespoons here though. Yeah, I do. All right, so that's one, and you need this. This is the glue that holds it together. All right, that's two, it's gonna be tight. I'm pretty sure I got it. All right, that's three right there. I got a little bit left, but I don't want to put it in because I can use that for, I don't know, a smoothie or something. You ever have this where I got to put this clip on it because, you know, it's a pull apart bag, right? And it's like a Ziploc pull apart, except both pieces of the Ziploc got, when you pulled it apart, are on the left side and there's nothing on the right. So the the Ziploc thing doesn't work. I really wish they would come up with some sort of refillable package for these. All right. Next, we're gonna put in a splash of vanilla. I always shake my vanilla first just to get the, the little sediment out. I don't know how much we're using here. Uh, let me see. About that much, maybe, I don't know, half a tablespoon. Next, we need three, three really ripe bananas. This is the perfect time, a Saturday morning, for me to make these because I buy all my bananas and produce on Sunday for the week. And by Saturday, like, like they're ripe, like really ripe. Uh, and I love me bananas that are this ripe. This is how I love to eat them. But most people are like, oh, that's too ripe for me. Nope. Uh, they're sweet and I love them. So uh, I'm going to throw these three bananas in here. There's, I think, bananas, depending on their status, either they're soluble fiber or insoluble fiber, depending on if they're green or ripe. I forget which one is which. Uh, Tim freezes both types of bananas, so we always have green or yellow or ripe, uh, depending on the recipe. I do not get that involved in our banana situation, right? I stay away from uh, banana science and sea moss. All right, so the last thing we need for this recipe is water. It's one and a half cups of water. I'm just pouring it in here. And that's it. Now I'm going to take this over to the blender, the blender sand, and get that blended. And then I've got the cutest little waffle maker, and I'm just going to make some mini waffles, right? Uh, I don't need a really big waffle. I don't need that much of a commitment in my life, but these little baby ones, they're amazing. Uh, I can have one or two of these, and I'm ready to go. All right, let's get this blended up. All right, so I've got my little baby waffle maker on here. You really can't see it, but there's a blue light on there that's on, and all you do is plug it in, and when the light goes off, it's hot and ready to go. So I've got that, and I blended this for at least a minute just to make sure it's ready to go, and it looks like it's a little too thick. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water to it. All right, so I just added another quarter of a cup of water to it. Let's see how that does. We'll make one of the waffles and see what happens. I've made this before and it's usually pretty, pretty on point. So excited, I can't wait to eat these. 
So I don't have to grease the or oil the the waffle maker because if you you shouldn't have to oil or or spray your waffle maker either. I mean, unless it's really really old, like from the '60s or '70s, they're all made with nonstick uh, plating on it. So I would skip that unless they're sticking, and mine have never sticked. Our other channel, Mediterranean Maidens, the link right here to April's new video. Uh, she's doing. Uh, a version of the ramen jars that I did, but she doesn't eat them as soup. She like eats them as a stir fry. So she stir fries everything and puts it in a jar and then brings it to work. And it's really nice. She's got all these different color noodles. The jars are beautiful. And then she dumps it out on a plate when she's ready to eat it. And just heats it up in the microwave, I guess, or however she heats it up, or maybe in the frying pan. But if she's doing it at work, she'll just heat it up in the microwave. And it looks absolutely beautiful. So check out that video up here. Uh, the ramen uh, stir fry video she has. It's really nice. Uh, she uh, has a version, a vegan version of it. You just swap, swap the broth out for veggie broth and the rest is vegan. So uh, I am looking forward to making that and it looks absolutely delicious. All right, so I think I'm going to try this now. And I'm going to give this, I think, a quarter of a cup. I need to fill that up. So... Uh, well, I need to get a decent amount in there. So let me see how much this will take. It's still really, really thick. So it can't be this thick because it needs to move around. All right. Let's try that. Let's see how that works out. All right. I'm going to put this on here and let it close. And I'm going to cook it. I'm going to try four minutes to start with. Uh, when I do a regular waffle mix without you know, without the banana and the flax, that's how long it takes. So let's give it four minutes and see what happens. All right, so it's been cooking for four minutes. Let's see how it's doing. Ooh, that looks really good. All right, this is actually done. Holy smoke, take a look at that. Is that perfection or what? Oh yeah, baby. I'm absolutely loving this. All right, so let me just rip it open here, which is, oh, it's cooked inside, yeah. I just want to make sure it wasn't gummy. All right, so the bat is perfect. Four minutes, that's the time I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna make the rest of them. Let's see how many I get out of this. All right, it's time to eat. I was able to make 13 of these, making them about 137 calories each. Uh, so I'm just gonna have two of them. So the, that's, that's uh, 260, 270 calories. So that'll give me a nice size breakfast. So I've got these on here and I'm gonna uh, add some, uh, some fruit on top of it. So I've got some bananas I'm just gonna kind of place on top here. It's like a half a banana that I cut up and just kind of sliced up into like coins. And then I've got just some chopped up uh, walnuts I'm just gonna sprinkle around. Looks good there. And I've got some frozen blueberries I just ran under hot water. So I'm just gonna kind of place these around. I mean, I'm kind of doing this for the photography, but also because I want it to, to be really nutritious. And blueberries are packed with like antioxidants and some other stuff that's really good for you. So I'm gonna place those around. Oh man, look at that. Like, how good does that look? I can't wait to eat this, I'm so hungry. And then the very last step is I'm just gonna put a little bit of maple syrup. Maple syrup is 110 calories for two tablespoons. So I'm gonna use about two tablespoons here. And that's it. Oh, wow. I'm ready to eat. I can't wait to eat this. This looks so good. Holy smoke. All right, I'm just gonna get a little knife and fork here and see how they taste. I've made these many times before. I think I made them in another video, actually. Uh, and I, I love to eat pancakes or waffles for breakfast. And these just look delicious. Oh, all right. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Delicious. Mm. So good, guys. Uh, this is what weekends are all about right here. All right, so for about 384 plus the blueberries and the nuts, I would say another 50 calories. So like for about 450 calories, I'm amazing breakfast. I'm going to enjoy this. And this is going to keep me full till lunch. All right. We got a lot going on today. We'll take you along. Let's see what happens next.
All right, I think for lunch, I'm gonna have black beans. I normally have a, a whole black bean recipe, a Cuban black bean recipe with the Instant Pot. It's so good, those black beans are amazing. But I don't need dried black beans. All I have is canned that, you know, are already cooked. So I think I'm gonna saute some beans here, put the Cuban spices in it, kind of mix it all around and throw it over rice. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it really simple. So I'm gonna start by using just a 15 ounce can of black beans. I'm gonna drain this first. All right, I'm just gonna dump these uh, rinsed beans into the pot here. I'm not even gonna make any like aromatics. I'm just, I'm ready to eat now. So I just wanna stir these up, heat it up with some spices and that's it. So I'm gonna get this pot hot and get the beans starting to you know, get hot here. And while it's heating up, I'm gonna throw some spices in. So I'm gonna put in like a, a half a teaspoon of each spice. I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of cumin here. Oops, a little too much. And I'm going to put in uh, a half a teaspoon of oregano. These are spices I normally use for uh, when I'm making the, the Instant Pot version. And then I'm going to put in uh, a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, because I'm not putting the garlic and the onion in. So I'm going to put like a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder here. and then a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm gonna grind up some salt and pepper. Just like a little bit, I don't need a lot. Oh, pepper I need a lot. All right, all right, that's looking good there. I'm just gonna mix this up here in a moment. And you can see the spices in here, coating everything. I'm just gonna kind of get that evenly distributed right here. I'm not even throwing any liquid in here. I'm just kind of, oh, well, maybe I need to, maybe I need to put a little water, but I don't want it to get like watery. I just want it to get coated. The beans are already cooked, so it's not like I got to cook them. I just kind of got to heat everything up and get the spices mixed up. It's smelling really good. <laughs> Cumin always smells so good. Oh yeah. All right, we're almost done. I got to turn the heat down a little bit. Put it on just low. Let it simmer for a minute or two. I think we'll put just a little bit of water in here. I'm just gonna throw like a tablespoon or two of water in here just to kind of get the fond off the bottom. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh yeah, that created like a little sauce too. That's perfect. Oh yeah. Right. I think we're done right here. I'm gonna shut it off. I mean, it literally took like two to three minutes. And then I've got these like brown rice packets from Costco. Uh, it's cooked brown rice. All you have to do is microwave it for 90 seconds. You just, you just peel the little thing off in the beginning to give a little air vent, throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds and it's done. And that's what I'm gonna do here. And then I'll just dump this right over the rice and uh, it'll be ready to go. I'll have some little black beans and rice action. All right, so uh, you gotta let this sit for a minute because it's steaming hot because that little spot of where all the steam's coming out, which of course I didn't let it sit, but I'm gonna, this is like 370 calories or 350 calories for this rice. So I'm just gonna split this down the middle here and just have half of that. So it's about 175. So that'll be perfect for what I'm doing here. All right, that's plenty of rice for my beans. Just kind of move that to the side here to make room for my beans. Perfect, and I'm just gonna take my beans and dump the whole thing in here. This may actually be too much for me. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm gonna do half of this. The entire can of beans is 110 calories, so half of that and it's 55, so that's what I've got here. I'm gonna sprinkle a little extra oregano on here just for some color, and there we go. All right, take a look at that, guys. How beautiful does that look? Black beans and rice, and I love me some black beans. Oh, that just looks so good together. Not exactly Cuban black beans because uh, I don't have the onions or garlic in there, but still close enough for a quick meal. I mean, I literally made this in a few minutes. You know, I always make my own rice, right? So just watching cars go by. I usually make my own rice, but every now and then, like I don't have it made and I'm ready to eat like right this minute. Um, and I don't have time to cook it. So that brown rice option and those little packets from Costco, I just keep them in the, the cabinet and they'll last me like two or three months, the six that come in the box, because I just don't do it that often, but it's there when I need it. So, I mean, 
just being prepared in case you don't have time to prepare anything, you know, that's a skill in itself that you really should have in order to, you know, stick with the program. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So good. I mean, I literally could eat black beans right out of the can. It wouldn't matter to me. Oh, it's such great flavor in here. Wow. This really makes me miss the Instant Pot black beans. I would love to make those. That's what I wanted to make for lunch, but I didn't realize I don't have black beans. And Tim's got my SUV. Uh, and uh, is out buying plants, so I have no way to get anywhere because he left his car and I can't drive his car. So uh, it's just really complicated what he drives, and I don't really want to get into it right here, but I don't know how to drive it. So I'm basically stuck here with whatever we have. Mm. If right now, this tastes pretty good. We need to run around get a few things done. I need to go over to Scottsdale and uh, hit the short men's shop. Uh, I'm going to look for some shirts there uh, for work. Or just for casual. Hopefully you'll believe in the house here soon and uh, I'll take you along with me. All right, we're in the car. Uh, I don't know why I didn't vlog this, but we just went into a uh, Taku uh, short men's shop. It's a big and tall and a short shop. It does both. Um, and uh, I just walked out of here with like three shirts that actually fit me. It's really hard for me to find clothes that fit me off a rack. In fact, it's impossible. So for the first time, I just checked this place out. It's right here in Scottsdale. And the first three shirts I tried on, like the guy put on me based on my preferences and all that were just perfect fits. Um, one of them was on clearance, which was great. And the other two, not so much. So uh, I'm really excited about that. When I get home, I'll show you what those look like. Uh, but I meant to show a picture of us in the store, but I forgot all about it. But I am excited that I got clothes that fit me. So uh, that's not a normal thing. All right, let's see what's next. All right, we are at Target, just trying to get some things we need here. Um, and just walking around and getting some snacks for Lex, and there's Tim. Uh, and uh, that's it, I'm getting some mouthwash because I'm out of that. Uh, and uh, school supplies, all right. So far, so good. These are really interesting right here. And it looks like they're on clearance too. I don't really have anywhere to put them, but I like kind of the simple whiteness of them. This one down here is only 18. I wonder what these are. Looking good. These ottoman are nice. They're simple, traditional, but they wouldn't work in my home. But I, I really like these a lot. I just don't have the right home for them. What kind of gift card are you looking for? The orange one. The orange one? What's the orange one? Rec room. Oh, rec room. All right, let me see if they have it. Well, they sure do have a lot of gift cards. All right, Target's done. As you notice, I'm in the back seat. There's a car the lady behind you, Tim. Uh, I'm in the, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm the backseat driver. I'm, liter I'm literally a backseat driver. Uh, as you notice, we're, I'm in the backseat. Lex and Tim always sit up front. I get stuck in the back. Uh, we just did a little Target action, a little Target run, and we're gonna try and grab something to eat here, maybe find a salad place. So uh, let's see what we can find. All right, we're at Lamps Plus. We need a dining room uh, fixture for over our table. We're trying to look at some of these. Here's the one that we're looking at. Let me know, let me know what you think. It's hard to see it up there, but let me get a view from this side. Anyway, it's long in some places and we need something long because we have a rectangular table. So it's kind of a gunmetal color, which would work for us. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. All right, these candle holders look really nice. The little like teardrop thing. I wonder how much those are. It looks like it's a set of three. I like them for sure. All right, this little night sand. This is a lot of fun right here. I'm loving it, but they only have one. We do need night sand for the bedroom, but we need two of them. This is the last one they have. That price is amazing too. That's perfect. Oh, wish we can get two of these. All right, I'm gonna have to let this one go. Uh. See, they got like an extensive menu of different grain bowls. Those look pretty good. Uh, probably get a salad over here, one of these. So there's a lot here. Plenty of options for sure. Okay. 
So I've got my salad right here. Let me show it to you. It's a mix of a whole bunch of stuff and I'll show it to you as I'm eating. But here's something really cool that I did before I left the house. I bought a little cooler with me and inside the cooler, I've got my uh, maple syrup mustard dressing. So I'm just gonna pour this over the salad and Tim's got a salad too. And that's what we're using for dressing. And since I had it in the cooler, this the dressing is nice and cold. So it's gonna be perfect. I don't have to have a, like a warm salad dressing. Very nice, I'm really excited about that. Okay, Tim's got a nice big old salad there. Mm -hmm. And I've got, my salad here has the spring mix, but let me see if you can see this. Uh, it's also got some uh, corn, some edamame, some red onions, some chickpeas, uh, some apples, along with all that. There's other stuff in there, I don't see it. What'd you get in yours? All right, so we got some chickpeas going on, cucumber, pickled onion, and then uh, some strawberries, green apple. They put some pumpkin seeds on this. Um, so this should be really delicious with that. Did you make three, two, one dressing? No, I made uh, the, hunt, the half maple syrup, half mustard. That sounds good. It'll go perfect with us. All right, let's get started. Yeah. And we also got a little hummus plate here too. Three different types of hummus. It's uh, pita and some celery sticks. They didn't have any, uh, they didn't have any carrots, right? So yeah, I'm really we're just getting out. So this is looking good. What do you think? Mm. Pretty good, huh? This is nice. All right, we're going to eat and we'll catch you after this is done. All right, this is one of the shirts I just got. So I feel like it's, uh, I don't know, maybe a little long, but the sleeves are right on. Like normally I have to have my sleeves uh, altered. So it's correct. And I guess it's the right cut. Uh, I don't know if it's really me as far as style goes, uh, but <laughs> it was only 30 bucks. It was on clearance at a short man shop. So I grabbed it. We'll see if I can find a use for it. Let's try on the uh, other ones. Okay. This is uh, just a black... Look how dirty that mirror is. Holy smoke. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is just a, uh, I got to wipe that off. Sorry. All right. So this is kind of a long sleeve polo shirt. You see here, I've got the, it's hard with the phone here. I've got my collar right here, right? Uh, it's buttoned up right here and the sleeves fit really nice. And I absolutely love this shirt. I think it looks really nice on me. Uh, obviously I still have some weight to lose, but like it just hugs me just in the right places and it's made for my size, which is just bizarre to be able to walk into some place and put a shirt on and have it fit. Normally this, I have to roll the sleeves up because they're too long and all that. So this looks fantastic. I'm really excited about this. All right, I got a sweater I want to show you too that, that probably my favorite of everything. All right, I know they're all dark colors. This is a blue, not a black, um, but what do you think of this, right? Isn't this nice? Again, uh, the, the sleeves are perfect. Uh, it's just a, a perfect fit for me. Is that mirror still dirty right there? It is. Wow, that's the best I can do. Uh, by the way, all of those, Claire, those there, those are Tim's clothes. My clothes are in a little closet here, but oh, that whole wall is Tim. But anyway, uh, again, I could walk in, put this on right off the rack, right? The fit is perfect. Uh, I absolutely love this. I can't wait to wear this to work. All right, those are the three items I bought. Uh, I'll tell you downstairs how much they all were. All right, so we did shopping and we're back and it's time for dinner and of course it's later uh, and lighting always sucks in the evening. So today we're gonna make some pizzas, right? I'm hungry for pizza. Yeah, I'm, hungry. I'm starving too. Uh, so what are we gonna do here? We've got some, okay. we've got some doughs, right? Yeah. I think so, I'll let you jump into this. Okay, so Friday morning, I just knew that we're gonna have some pizza sometime this weekend. So. Um, I think we covered this earlier in another video, but really I just made the bread recipe separated into three. Uh, it gets rounded up and put in a bowl and I put it in the refrigerator. So anyway, we're bringing it up today. I brought this out probably an hour ago just to, to warm up or acclimate to room temperature. Um, so we're good that way. Now I'll put some flour here. We'll punch down, shape it. And then I've got some semolina flour we'll put on the pizza peel. And I've already got a preheated oven, so we'll go from there. To 500 degrees. Okay, All right, 500 so that's degrees. what we're doing, right? So we'll let you do your thing, and then uh, when it's time to do the toppings, we can decide who's getting what toppings, right? Yes, sounds good.
Okay, you saw what I did with the dough, the punch down, making the ridge. I just put a little drizzle of sauce, but let's cut now to the toppings I'm gonna use. All right, so here's the toppings that we're gonna use for the pizza, at least for mine anyway. Uh, you can see I've got uh, some tomatoes in there. I'm just trying to cook them down so they start breaking. Uh, I've got some broccoli in there. I've got some uh, pineapple right there. I've got some corn in there. Uh, do I have anything else? No. So that'll be the toppings for my pizza, uh, right on top of the sauce. I don't use cheese or vegan cheese. I just, I just load it with toppings. And there they are right there. Tim's gonna be a little different. He's got mushrooms, ugh. Uh, and well, those are those king mushrooms that he's like forked, which are really good. And he's got corn there. Uh, he's got the, the little pieces of tomato and the, the uh, pineapple. Uh, he doesn't really care if they're cooked or not. I eat, my toppings have to be cooked, so. All right, that's the uh, toppings we're using for our pizza. So that, this, this is mushroom, right? This is Oyster King mushroom. Right. This is the basic pulled pork, or pulled, it's a pulled mushroom style. It's the, it's the king mushroom, right? It is the Oyster King mushroom. And we have a video right up here where you make pulled pork sandwiches out of this mushroom. It's that texture, right? That idea. Yeah. Yes. So it's right up there. Check that out. It's a delicious sandwich, right? Yeah. So if you make this, you can make six of them or something and just use a little bit for pizza and then have something for sandwiches tomorrow. So anyway, really versatile. So you're having like a barbecue pizza. You get some barbecue sauce yeah. on it, barbecued yeah. uh, mushrooms, right? To get away from the cheese, I like this barbecue style pizza. I'm going with corn next, some tomatoes. I've got uh, some cut pineapple as well that has been sitting in a bowl draining, so it's um, so it's ready to be used and shouldn't add a lot of moisture to the pizza. Yeah, the key to this when you're not using cheese is don't put so many toppings on that the pizza just falls apart. Right? Correct. Yep. And then when it comes out, then we'll put a little bit of cilantro on. Should be perfect. So All right. um, instead of using a whole red onion tonight, I've used just a scallion, so that works as well. Just I wanted you to know the flexibility you have. Sometimes people are like, what, you're putting pineapple on pizza? Really goes with this flavor profile nicely. Don't get me started with you people and hating pineapples on pizza, please. Okay. Mm. So delicious, guys. It's supposed to be a classy show. So now we're ready to put this on the pizza peel. I'm gonna utilize a little bit of semolina flour. It's more fine than cornmeal. I mean, if you've got cornmeal, you can use that. But since I have this in the freezer, I've just pulled it out. I've got the oven set for uh, 500. 500 degrees. This should just take about seven minutes to cook. It's, uh, all, it's August in Phoenix, and we've got the oven at 500 degrees. Don't ask. That's a look at our professional. <laughs> I sure you don't want the cornmeal. Okay. I got cornmeal. Slide. Slide. All right. He's putting it in the oven. He doesn't have a pizza stone in the oven, so this is going right on the pizza stone. Yes. We and I'll do a quick little jerk action to get it. Yeah. Off. So we did a whole video up here, ten ways to make your homemade pizza better, or something like that. Uh, check out that video. It shows the, like in detail what we're doing. So one of the things we forgot to mention in the last video, uh, when we were in New York City, we ran into one of the uh, people who you know follows the channel, but it's also in the Facebook group, our uh, Facebook group, uh, Plant Based Dad Start Solution Enthusiast, yeah. uh, Michael T. Yes. And uh, he was there uh, and came up to us also. And him and I have had quite a bit of chat on Facebook because he came from eating a a, uh, a keto type of diet and wound up having like heart problems and stents and all sorts of stuff and you know was told the same thing over and over again like you're just getting old that's what happened blah 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 and then he decided that maybe it's my keto diet right and started looking into plant-based diet and then holy smoke he like lost a bunch of weight like his numbers all improved like all of this stuff um, and I forget if his husband's on board or not, I forget, but he's like had all this success and completely turned his life around. So, uh, Michael, shout out to you. Yeah. Uh, it was great meeting you there too. Uh, really 
I could do like that whole thing like every month, right? Just meeting the people. I don't even care anymore about like Dr. Barnard and Chuck and all that. I just love the whole idea of the the meetups. Yep. Right? I feel like everyone has a story. Yeah. And is valuable and I just I love that. Uh, change lives. It's very cool. New York was so much fun. Not not that New York City wasn't I mean it was, but just that event was a yeah. lot of fun. You bring up an interesting point. Um, I think almost everything we had today, if you have a non-vegan spouse or family member, it's their choice, that's fine. But everything we did from the salads, it's flexible. The pizzas we're making, this is totally flexible. People can put their own their own toppings. Um, and then uh, breakfast, that's flexible as well. So anyway, um, if you're in that Do you situation- Do you know what we have for breakfast? Yeah, waffles. Because uh, you weren't even here. Because you saw the waffles in the fridge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mamma mia. Is that perfect or what? Nice. Okay. A little bit of fennel. A little bit of cilantro. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get going in the next ones, right? All right, you saw me create the pizza on the counter last time. I'm gonna punch down the dough this time and transport it to the pizza peel, and then we'll put the toppings on there and it'll be ready to go in the oven. Um, anyway, I've found two different ways to do it and, it and there isn't really a wrong way. Wish you could be here and feel this. It's like a little pillow, a uh, little cloud. Um, it's very nice. All right, so just in the center, you can see I already have my ridge and I can see bubbles already forming. So this will be really nice. A little tomato sauce. All right, so this is my pizza. So yeah, let's get that. I like plenty of sauce on there. But I don't want too much joy because uh, well, I'm eating it. So I know, but it's going to make the pizza so no, soggy. Be, so. But there's no sauce in the part of the center there, so it's got to be saucy. Okay. All right, keep going. One more spoonful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, let, let me do this. Hey, let's make it the way you like it, right? Make it the way I like it. It's a for me anyway. All right, let's get this on here. All right, just use it all. All right, I feel like it's... You like that? Yeah, I me mean like uh, yeah. It's perfect. You wanna do this? Uh, you can put it on. So all my vegetables are uh, already mixed, all my toppings. I showed you before how we cook them. Uh, I do cook my toppings first because I don't, I don't want raw broccoli on my pizza when I'm biting into it. Uh, and I love broccoli on the pizza, so... You don't want like a salad, a bite, a bite into yeah, a salad? I don't want a, a pantanuska, whatever it's called, pizza with all that like raw stuff on top of it. Okay. I think that's good. We're getting to too many toppings. Perfect. So, I yeah, like that. I think that's really good. Yep. All right. Perfect. All right. So, we're to throw that in the oven. We'll see how that goes. We already got slide. We're in good shape. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna set a timer for this one for nine minutes, because that's how long the other one took to cook. So I think that'll be good. Uh, uh, this, your pizza looks amazing. Looks like, good. It looks really, really good. So uh, I like the size of it, a big crust. It, it's absolutely Yeah, gorgeous. I wanted that. The sourdough crust has great flavor. Normally, I'm not a crust eater. So I made the pizza like this. Could I have made this pizza much larger? I could have. Yeah. So just take that with a grain of salt. Like, I just like the size of it, but it's also the fact that we made it with our sourdough bread and oh, our starter and all yeah. that. Like, there's no oil in it and all that. Yeah. That's just like, that's everything. All right. That looks perfect as well. All right, we're just going to sprinkle some fresh basil. While it's hot like this, the air mass will be good. Perfect. All right, we did have a third pizza we made. Uh, it's in the oven now. Yep. 
uh, it's just Lex's. He's just ever having a regular cheese pizza. But we are so, using this. So if you have someone in your family who wants cheese, yeah, we found that this is the one that melts the best. Like, yeah, this is the uh, I, I don't know what brand it is. It just says uh, 100% vegan mozza shred. Uh, it's yeah. from Costco. I don't know what company it is. Uh, oh, it's 100% awesome. That's the name yeah. of the company. You can find this at Sprouts and Whole Foods. Yeah. So. All right, let's cut these up and see what they taste like. All right. Yes. I'm going to cut mine here right here. We'll grab a little piece of this. Look how good these look. Do these look amazing? Or so what? good. Holy smoke. The text is really nice. It tastes like a, like a pizza parlor pizza crust. Yeah, that one looks really good. You definitely love the Chicago style. You know, yeah, I mean, you I, like I the. I do look like like deep dish pizza or big crust pizza. Yeah. yeah. So to have something chewy, that's right up your alley. Notice well, it's staying together. It looks good. Oh, yeah, well, look at yours. Show them the bubbles. Like, well, I don't even see that, but yeah. You can see the crust here. Mm. Very nice. Okay, crisp bottom. That's delicious. This is delicious. Just so you can get a better look here, you can see that crust. Like, it looks like a pizza parlor crust. And then, like, it's nicely done. And then there's Tim's. You can see his crust right there. And it looks like a real pizza. Oh, man, this is so good. Holy I'm very smart. happy. Mm. I actually haven't done this for a while, so I'm really glad we did this tonight. I've been asking for, like, a year and a half. <laughs> All right, what happened? Oh, oh, good. All right. Mm. We got to eat the rest of this. We eat the rest of this. We'll show you what this vegan, vegan cheese looks like melted. So when that comes out... I need some water. <laughs> How do you like the basil on yours? It tastes really good. You know what I get the strongest taste of? The broccoli being like, it tastes like grilled broccoli, mm. right? Nice. It's not much of it, but uh... And we cut the stems off, so you're not getting yeah. a lot of hard crunch from no, it. just little pieces of the florets. You got some sweet white corn going on? Yeah, it's nice. And I'm not sure what my favorite part is, but... Ugh. For me, definitely the barbecue is, is a strong flavor. Not everyone loves that, but with the cilantro, onions, like it's going on. It's so good. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Homemade pizza is the best. Mm. We accomplished today everything that we wanted to. Oh, well. So, so that's a new car. I showed you guys. I, <laughs> I got to get a new car. I showed you guys the, uh, the shirts I wore, right? That I bought. Yeah. I'm telling you, I should never went in that place. Because buying clothes for myself is always a nightmare. I wear stuff and because I'm, I'm my chest is a 44, which is like a big chest, right? I'm only 5'2". So when I buy stuff that's a 44, the rest of it's large. So my clothes always fit like the paperback. And, and, and go ahead. I'm not sure you had to buy everything you tried on, but... Huh? I'm proud of you. <laughs> no, you can't get this one in the store. So yeah. I'm like, let's do it. So we went to this short men's shop, which we've never been to before. And uh, like I would pick something up off the rack, put it on, and it fit me perfectly. And the guy, the owner was like, okay, you have an athletic build. I'm like, I think you mean fat. And he goes, no, 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 you have an athletic build. I was like, okay. So he's like, you need an athletic fit shirt. So he like would see, what do you think of this style? What do you think? And I'm like, hate it, hate it, hate it. Uh, and then he'd be like, "What? Well, you know, try this, this should fit you. And I would put it on and I'd be like, holy smoke. Like, I don't even want to know how much this costs because it feels expensive, right? So that one shirt was $35. That fit okay, it wasn't amazing, but it was made for a shorter guy with the arms and all that. And for 35 bucks, I was like, I'm taking it. But the other two shirts, they were 99 bucks each. And normally I like, I don't spend money on clothes. Like all my t-shirts are like $7, $8. I just don't spend money on clothes. But the fit was just unreal. Like I've never been able to just pull something off the rack and put it on. And those were shirts I could wear for school. Long sleeve polos, sweaters. And normally to find a sweater like that fits my chest, it just, like it just looks horrible. Yeah. And I gotta wear it that way anyway because I have no choice. That because there's nothing else I can do. Yep. So it was kind of fun the other day too. We got vegan shoes, vegan dress shoes online. Yeah. Showed up, and you love wearing those. They look good. Those are Bruno Mark. I'll put a picture of those right here. Yeah. Uh, I absolutely love those, but uh, I haven't really been able to dress up. I'm literally wearing basketball shorts and t-shirts to school because my air conditioning doesn't work. 
So, and that was supposed to be fixed. The part was there a week Friday now. Like, two Fridays ago it showed up. Last Friday, this past Friday, it was still there now a week. Still not installed, right? So, until they fix my air conditioner, I really can't get dressed up for work again. Um, and, uh... It has been the hottest month on record. Oh my god. So I just imagine there's so much residential issues, like... Alright, let me post this up to the Facebook group. They don't want to see this. Yep. Alright. How's Lexus Pizza doing? Oh, let's check. Oh, perfect. Nice and crispy. Alright, so you can see right here what the pizza looks like. I mean, I wouldn't say it melted perfectly, but... It is a little melty. Um, he'll like this. This is the kind of pizza he likes. So yeah, it's regular cheese pizza. Just yeah. plain. All right. I think that is our video for today. We crammed a lot in for this video. You got to see me try on clothes. You got to see us go to Target, uh, to Mad Greens. Um, it's super hot here. It's a Saturday. We need to get some things done. So are we done cooking? We are done cooking. And it's super hot. Let's shut the oven. I probably should turn off the 500 yeah, degree turn oven. Turn off the 500 degree oven, yeah. But first, I wanted to say goodbye. So. All right. That's our video today. Hit that like button. Show us a love. Think about subscribing. Become part of the Plant Based Ads family. It's been a pleasure. Here's our video. A full day of vlogging yeah. with us. What we eat, where we go, what we did, right? Yeah. I hope in some way this has encouraged you. Yeah. Or been positive. So yeah. take care. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>